The compound 10 miles east of Waco, Texas is gone, but strong emotions over what happened here 25 years ago run deep. These individuals were, were, were predisposed to kill government agents, and they killed four of our people. It's, it's disgusting. Uh, it did not need to happen. There are so many other ways they could have gotten him. This whole thing could have been avoided and should have been avoided. On February 28th, 1993, agents with the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives tried to arrest David Koresh, the leader of the Branch Davidians, on weapons charges. Ex-members of the religious sect also alleged that Koresh fathered children with teenage girls. The objective was basically to approach the front door clear the front door as part of a team to arrest and serve a search warrant on the Branch of compound. Roland Ballesteros came face to face with Koresh that day. He, he looks back at me and he smiled at me, which I thought was pretty odd. He smiled at me, backed up and shut the door. But the raid did not go as planned. Word leaked in the small central Texas town. Soon reporters and photographers showed up, their appearance tipping off sect members. David came through the serving area, the cafeteria and, and uh, Pretty much confirmed. He says, we've just got word that somebody's coming. Clive Doyle yeah, and David Thibodeau are among the few surviving true. members of the Branch Davidians. To this day, the survivors and ATF agents disagree on who fired the first shots. All hell broke loose sort of thing. There's just a huge barrage of uh, firing. We didn't have 50 calibers. We didn't have grenades. We didn't have, you know, machine guns. You know, it's... I hate to say it, but, um, you know, they were, they were prepared for us. Four ATF agents were shot and killed during the raid, along with six Branch Davidians. It led to a 51-day standoff that ended in an inferno after the FBI fired tear gas rounds into the buildings. Almost 80 sect members died, including Koresh and young children. The dark day in Texas history changed how law enforcement handles armed confrontations. Well, unfortunately, Waco has changed a lot of things. I think that the FBI has changed their approach when dealing with groups like this. Thibodeau wrote about his experience and recently served as a consultant on a new six-part cable miniseries about the standoff. There is responsibility on both sides, but David didn't wipe out the community. Biasteros carries his own reminders. I noticed uh, holes emanating from, from inside the wall, inside the door on the, the right side, and then my hand was kicked back. He suffered a gunshot wound to the hand. He still has some of his equipment from 1993, including the gloves he wore. Both speaking out to tell their side of the story. If they agree on anything, it's that they wish that day never happened. John Moan, Associated Press, Waco, Texas.